Hello Year 7, it's Mrs V and we are back in the lab for another exciting practical. So today we are going to look at the energy content of different foods. Did you know that you get your energy from the food that you eat? So today we're looking at three different foods. We're looking at tiny teddies, the chocolate kind, they're the best aren't they? Actually I like both kinds. I like the chocolate chip ones best. And do you remember the ones you used to be able to get with the chocolate bottom button up? Cheezels. Yum. Who doesn't want to put that on their fingers? <laughs> oh, that's icky. And we've got a bit of dry, stale bread. Okay, so we are going to burn those and we're going to look at the energy content. Now you have a worksheet to go with this. So make sure that you have downloaded your worksheet or you have an electronic copy there because you're going to need to be recording some stuff today. So which one of these, the bread, the chisel, the tiny teddy, which one of those do you think will have the most energy? Pause the video now and write that down on your sheet. So make your hypothesis. Okay, give me a reason why. All right, it is time to experiment. So what we have here is some test tubes of water and we have um, had the thermometer sitting in them for a little while. Do you want to zoom in on that starting temperature? Can you see the starting temperature? Okay, so we know the starting temperature. I want you to turn your sheet over and I want you to write the starting temperature down. Okay. We're going to put this up. They're ready to be heated by our food. Now we better weigh our food first. So we're going to start with the tiny teddy. So are you looking at the table on your sheet? Okay, so on the other side of your sheet where it says the mass of the sample. Oh, we're starting, we're starting with the chisel, I see. Okay, so I'm going to turn the balance on and we are going to weigh our chisel. And if you're just coming in now, you're late. Chisels. Mmm. Yum. I wish you were here. Okay, let's weigh this chisel. Hey, on the balance, 1.5 grams of chisel. I could eat a lot more chisel than that. Next, the stale bread. You can eat this one. The stale bread weighs 3.5 grams. And then the tiny teddy. Oh look, there's some left in the packet. Chocolate tiny teddies, yum. Mmm. But back to the balance. 2.3 grams for our tiny teddy. Okay. Who should we burn first? I think the tiny teddy. Alright. Do you reckon I'll stick it right in his belly button? Let's see if we can get him impaled on the stick here. I think he's on. I'm going to light him up in the Bunsen burner and then I'm going to stick him under the test tube of water and we're going to see how much he's going to heat the water in the test tube. Going to take the thermometer out for this because I don't want to break the thermometer with the heat from the tiny teddy. So Ted, prepare to die. Alright, Bunsen burner. Air holes closed. Safety flame on. Teddy ready. Okay. Hot flame. Let's burn this bear. He's on fire. No, he's not. Now he's on fire. Let's get him under there. It's not burning enough. If he goes out, we're going to have to light him up again. OK, 
Come on, Ted, burn. So we're just going to hold him under the test tube. Tiny teddies love donating themselves to science. Come on, Ted. It's burning for a long time. What do you think that might mean about the amount of energy in a tiny teddy? Still burning. Come on, Ted. Wow, that is a lot of energy, isn't it? He's just going and going and going and going. It's turning really black too. He's still going. He's just still going. Go, Ted. All right. He's out. Shall we see if there's anything left in him? Let's see if we can line him up a bit more. Come on, Ted. I know you've got more yet. No, he's out. He's out. All right. Let's measure the temperature of the water. So I'm just going to stir a little bit gently and then we are going to look at the temperature of the water wait until the thermometer is stabilized i need to move your finger miss That's it. it's still going up still going up that teddy that teddy had energy i think we're good we're good, we have a final reading. Yes, and it is 48 degrees. 48 degrees. Wow, that was a hot little teddy. Okay, let's change it over. Let's do the cheesel. I'm pretty keen for the cheesel. How about you guys? So we're gonna to change to a new lot of water. We're gonna take the starting temperature and then we're going to light our cheesel up. So where's our starting temperature? Can you read that thermometer? It's the same as last time. It's the same as last time, which is not surprising because all the water came out of the same tap. All right, let's put our chisel on our burning stick and light it up. Are you ready? What do you reckon, more or less than the teddy? What do you think? Let's light it up. All right, chisels are light. Let's get it under there. Heat that water chisel. That is a great flame. Whoa, we've lost him. We've lost him. Look at that flame. Wow, I wish you were here. It's so, so amazing. This is a great experiment. All right, we're starting to lose it. He's starting it's to go It's a very dirty out. flame, miss. It is very, very dirty. Do you remember learning about the Bunsen burner flame and what made the Bunsen burner flame really dirty? All right, final temperature time. Oh, will it beat the teddy? Do you think it'll beat the teddy? Let's see how we go. It's 
Still going up. Still going up. Is it going to win? Is it going to win? Or do tiny teddies really beat cheesels? I think we've stopped. I think we're there. And we are 60 degrees. 60 degrees? That's incredible. Okay, one more to go. Now we've got to see how we go with this last one because bread is really hard to ignite. So the bread can be a little bit dodgy sometimes. So let's see what our initial temperature, what our starting temperature is on that water. And it's 22 again. Again, that's not really amazing. All right, bread. The question is, today, right here, right now, will we actually get the bread to ignite? This is very, very good if we do, because it doesn't happen all the time. Let's get a nice roaring flame. Let's see if we can get this bread to light up. Light up bread, light up, light up, light up. Oh, we, we had it, we lost it. Come on bread, come on bread. This is, this is a very elaborate way to make toast. Got it a little nice. Maybe not gonna work, maybe gonna work. Let's get it nice and hot, get that toast happening. It's gonna be a lot of lighting it up and coming back to light it up again, I think. Oh, and again. See how the bread's not lighting up very well? That's because bread has a lot of water in it. And if you ever want to stop a fire, you have to put the products of the burning reaction on that fire. So for burning something like wood or bread, that's carbon dioxide and water. So you could either put water on the fire to put it out, or you could put carbon dioxide and that's what's in fire extinguishers. So because the bread's got a lot of water in it, that water in the bread is stopping it from burning as well. Got a little bit of a flame, it's just going to take us a little bit of effort to keep going back, light it up, out, heat the water. You see, after it's been burning for a little while, a lot of that water is starting to evaporate. So it's going to start burning a little bit better now. Back in the flame. Light it up. And back under the water. And back in the flame. And back under the water. Wonder if the bread's actually going to win. It seems to be burning for a long time. It's not burning with nearly such a dirty flame as the cheese one. And it's not burning for nearly as long. Let's it's still igniting, so there's still some food energy in there. When it stops igniting, then we'll know that there's no food energy left in that bread. And he's gone out again. Can we light him up again? No, I think he's done. It's not lighting up now. All right, so quickly, let's do our final temperature. You don't wish you were here. This, that bread stinks. Burnt toast, yes. Burnt toast it is. We're still increasing. But at this stage, we have not needed to call the fire brigade, so all is well. 
And I think that's about it. So it looks like 38 degrees. 38 degrees. Okay, so you've recorded all of those things on your sheet now, and you need to work out the change in temperature. How are you going to do that? It's going to be the bigger number, take away the smaller number for your change. So your final temperature is the big number and your initial temperature is the little number. So do the big one, take the little one and do your change in temperature. And then to get the change in temperature in degrees Celsius per gram, you're going to have to you know, divide that temperature change by the mass of the sample. Okay, well, there are still tiny teddies and cheesels left. Enjoy your day. I will see you next time in the lab. Bye.